from. Our next student speaker is Madison Farrell. Madison attended Glenview Elementary School in the Dual Language Academy, and we've been continuing her multilingual education journey this year as a seventh grader at Bernardo Yorba Middle School. There you guys, I, I, I figure. The script says pause for screaming, so that worked. <laughs> Please join me in welcoming to the stage, Madison Farrell. Buenas tardes, educadores de PYLUSD. Soy Madison Farrell y estoy emocionado de comenzar mi viaje de escuela intermedia en Bernardo Yorba Middle School la próxima semana. Estoy aquí para hablar de mi tiempo como estudiante de primaria y como el tema de nuestro distrito Juntos Hacia el Mañana captura perfectamente los increíbles esfuerzos de los maestros y el personal en la preparación de los estudiantes para el futuro. I'm Madison Farrell and I'm excited to start my middle school journey at Bernardo Yorba Middle School next week. I'm here to talk about my time as an elementary student and how our district's theme, Together Toward Tomorrow, perfectly captures the amazing efforts of teachers and staff in preparing students for the future. In 2014, I was a preschooler at Linda Vista Elementary School, and in 2015, went to TK at Glenville Elementary. I don't remember much about preschool or TK, but I do know that I loved the playground and made a lot of friends. In kindergarten, I started in the first dual immersion class at Glenview. Throughout my time at Glenview, my teachers provided me with unique opportunities and inspiration that have shaped my learning journey. In kindergarten, I discovered not only how to learn, read, write, and speak a new language, but was also introduced to diverse cultures and celebrations. I vividly recall learning about Dia de los Muertos, which opened my eyes to the unique celebrations in Mexico. I remember being completely captivated as a first grader when I learned about sea animals when we went on a field trip to the aquarium. It was more than just a field trip. It was an adventure that ignited my curiosity about science and sea animals. Moving on to second grade, I already had a grasp on reading and writing, but that's when I truly understood the significance of relationships in becoming a successful student. My teachers showed me the power of forming close bonds with their students. Those connections lasted far beyond the classroom. I mean, I still chat with some of them every single day. It's pretty amazing how those lessons about learning and relationships have stuck with me throughout the years. One memory that remains in my mind is from my third grade year when COVID quickly changed the way we attended school. What stood out was the care and support shown by my third grade teachers. They managed to maintain a strong connection with us through Zoom, making sure that my classmates and I continued to learn and thrive despite the challenges the world was facing. I remember engaging in activities such as practicing math facts, reading the tale of Despero, and participating in art projects all through Zoom. We were at home, but my teachers and classmates were excited about learning and connecting with one another using technology. Looking back, this experience enlightened me about the potential of technology as an amazing tool for making connections among students, teachers, and families, regardless of our physical locations. Online learning continued at the beginning of fourth grade, and although we were separated physically, our two new teachers went above and beyond to establish connections with us. They prepared our classrooms, eagerly anticipating the day we could reunite in person. This past year, our sixth grade teachers were dedicated to preparing us for the transition to middle school. An exciting highlight was our interaction with the second grade students as we were paired up as big buddies, fostering connections and bonds with the younger students. One of the many ways my elementary years have prepared me for the future is through the dual immersion program. Speaking two languages opens up a whole world of communication with people all over the world. The DLA program turns students into bilingual, biliterate, and bicultural learners who thrive in school while helping to prepare us to be awesome citizens in the future. Being bilingual will be a huge advantage for me when I'm looking for a job as well, as I can speak two languages. And now, as I begin my seventh grade journey at Bernardo Yorba Middle School, one of the things that fills me with excitement is participating in extracurricular activities, creating new connections with classmates and teachers, and becoming an integral part of the vibrant BYMS community. Taking different classes will help me to develop essential skills such as critical thinking, problem solving, effective communication, and collaboration, which are all necessary to be successful now and in the future. My parents also tell me that middle school will help me with independence, responsibility, and time management, which are skills that I need to face the challenges that lie ahead in high school and beyond. Being a part of DLA has provided me with knowledge and experience that are shaping my readiness for the future. Another example, <coughs> Another example of preparing for the future is my brother's high school experience. He will be a junior at Esperanza and is enrolled in the Aztec Engineering and Manufacturing Academy, where he's gaining valuable hands-on experience and utilizing software that will help him as he pursues a major and career in engineering. 
These two district programs illustrate how PYL teachers are, and schools are equipping us for future employment opportunities. Regardless of the school students attend, we are all in the process of learning, growing, and benefiting from opportunities that equip us to navigate our constantly evolving world. I've had the privilege of observing firsthand the dedication and care that each one of you brings to your teaching and wanting the best for your students. My mom, an elementary teacher and now a principal, and my grandpa, who dedicated over three decades to teaching middle school, have ingrained in me the importance of your role in helping to shape young students into successful individuals. <clears throat> a todos ustedes, maravillosos maestros, quiero recordarles que el tema Juntos a el Mañana es lo que ustedes han estado viviendo y respirando. Vuestra dedicación, incluso en tiempos difíciles, me, me ha inspirado a mí y a los alumnos de todo Placentia y Oberlinda. To all of you wonderful teachers, I want to remind you that the theme Together Toward Tomorrow is what you've been living and breathing. Your dedication, even during challenging times, has inspired me and students throughout Placentia y Oberlinda. You've shown us that no matter what obstacles come our way, we can still learn, grow, and succeed as long as we're together and supported by amazing educators like you.